What's up guys, it's Landon McCarter with Secure Agent Marketing. I wanted to bring a topic to you guys today that I get asked a lot and it's a really simple concept for the most part um, in like understanding it. Implementing it is, a, is another thing, but I wanna kinda of walk through it. And what that is, is Google Analytics goal conversion setup, okay? So what is Google Analytics goal conversion setup, all right? First off, if you wanna know if you're getting leads, how much your conversion rate is on your landing page is, if you're actually getting the types of conversions that you're wanting, um, you have to have that installed in Google Analytics called goal conversions. Now, where you do that is you go on the left side, you log into your analytics account. On the left side, there's a little flag that says conversions. You go down there and you hit goals and you go to overview. And what'll happen is, is you'll see all of your goal conversions that you have set up. I have a particular screenshot of a, a small Medicare site that I'm working on that has uh, some goal conversion set up. So in this particular situation, um, first off, let's talk about what is a goal conversion, okay? If you have a good website and you're trying to build passive lead flow through your website, you're gonna have to have what's called lead magnets, um, also you know, conversion forms or contact forms on your website. Every lead magnet you have, so let's just say it's like a turning 65 guide, your guide to Medicare, your guide, you know, whatever that looks like, that PDF that people give you their email address, their phone number, and their, um, you know, address and first and last name or whatever to get the PDF, that gives you a lead. You then call that lead and say, hey, I noticed you downloaded our Turn 65. I didn't know if you had any follow-up questions from that. I'd love to help you out. Is there anything I can do to help you? That would be what I mean by a gated content lead. Now, you wanna be able to track when those things are happening to be able to know which of your gated content pieces is working and which one isn't working. So a good website has 10 pieces of gated content throughout it called lead magnets. And if you have your goal conversions set up, you've got 10 different goal conversions. So you can look on a monthly basis and say, which of my 10 goal completions is working the best? Is it the gated turning 65 content? Is it Medicare Advantage plan? Is it the piece of gated content I have about plan F? What is that that's working? That The way you find this out is by going in analytics and setting up your goal completions, okay? So that's the main thing I want you to, to understand and what I'm gonna talk about today of why that's important. Because if you don't know, uh, you know if your website's converting or what your conversion points are or you don't even know what I'm talking about, this is kind of a very basic step that you've gotta, you gotta take. So. The first thing, whenever you build a website, you can install Google Analytics onto your website. Google Analytics is free, it's a free service, you don't have to pay for that. But just installing it on your website does not install the goal completions. You have to actually go into your Google Analytics account and install the different goal completions that you wanna track so that you actually have the screen that I'm looking at with actual activity. I think this particular screen is like a week of activity for a smaller Medicare site that, that we built so you can kinda of see how it's going. So one of the things I wanted to point out is the conversion rate. A 10% conversion rate is pretty ridiculous when it, whenever it comes to all of your traffic coming in and converting at a 10%. That means one out of 10 people that drive do what we want them to do and generates a lead, which is kind of ridiculous. So um, if you can pull that off and drive more traffic by blogging and doing basic search engine optimization tactics, you'll be getting a lot of passive leads. That's how this stuff works. So now that you know the digital era is here, one of the constant things that I hear all the time is how do I diversify my lead for, source from Facebook? One of the things that the smarter producers and companies are doing is they're investing in their SEO, their content, their website, and really getting um, a good baseline of, of passive lead flow um, you know, that comes in automatically, right? So the one thing I love about this as well is if you set this up correctly the first time, you can track all your different sources, you can track your goal completions by source. So if you're doing Google AdWords or Facebook traffic or organic SEO, or whatever other service you're doing, you can break down your goal completions by, <clears throat> by the actual traffic source so that you can know, you know what, I got 15 conversions this month, but all like 14 of the 15 came from organic, but I'm paying this random dude $4,000 a month for you know AdWords and I'm like, I'm getting the reports they're sending me, but the numbers aren't matching up and what's going on, right? I ha that happens all the time where because you have analytics, it's an independent third party that, that has complete transparency on what's going on, on your website you can kind of keep your people that you're working with accountable because I, I can tell you all the time I run into people that will show me the reports that they get from their AdWords person and then I, I connect that to analytics and I'm like, hey guys, like your analytics says this, your reports say this, what's going on? They're like, oh, well, we, we tracked a, a longer uh, page view more than 15 seconds as a conversion because that's what we want. It's like, no, 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 that's not how this thing works. We're tracking leads, we're tracking cost per leads, 
you know, we're able to kind of call to the carpet what people are doing for us because what we're paying. Because one of the things that frustrates me more than anything in the digital marketing world is people being taken advantage of and being sold smoke and mirrors and getting, you know, I see like these ads for like 199 SEO per month. It's like you can't get anything done for $200 SEO a month. What are you even talking about? That's just a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you want to be able to, analytics is like the equalizer of the results that are coming through our website. That's what I love about it. And in order to actually truly understand um, the whole marketing funnel, goal completions are the very bottom of the marketing funnel. All the other stuff that we do in the marketing funnel is, is leading to the goal completion. So if we're not getting goal completions and we're spending budget and we've been doing that for multiple months, we've got to adjust, we've got to pivot, right? So um, if you guys don't know about goal completions or setting that up on analytics, let us know, we can help. Click the link below. Um, there's like a start here button. You can just opt in. I would love to talk to you about that. The second thing that you can do is I've done other videos that are uh, in-depth analytics guides that are dealing with more top of the funnel type activities and KPIs. Uh, Keith's gonna put that link in the video as well. So you can go check that out. Um, but th this is just an important piece of the puzzle that a lot of people don't even know it exists. Um, so make sure you got your goal completion set up. If you don't have any gated content pieces, lead magnets, whatever, we'd love to help you with that as well. If you don't have a content marketing strategy at all, we'd love to help you with that as well. That's something we've become very, very good at. All we do is Medicare, final expense, you know, life insurance, recruiting, marketing. Um, I've built hundreds and hundreds of articles that are custom, infographics, all these types of things for just the insurance industry alone. We would love to help you with that. Set up your goal completions, build the goal completions, take over your website, whatever it looks like. Um, but all we want is transparent, clear and concise results. And you do that by, by installing goal completion. So I hope you guys found this valuable today and have a great at rest of your day.